<laughs> easy clap. Wait, it's not easy clap. It's right there. Yes. <laughs> That was so close. Oh my god. Today, we are going to be trying to beat hard maps using only ninja monkeys. I believe in the power of the shinobi. First off, we have to decide what hero do we feel like using here, okay? Because if we take a look at the ninja, if we take a look at our soldier here, ninja disciple. What are we planning on doing today? Probably primarily shinobi tactics. If we're only going to be using ninjas, then obviously we need something that helps stab ninjas so shinobi tactics is probably going to be our primary uh upgrade path we're also going to be having some sticky bomb ninjas as well to help deal with the moabs that's the primary plan i don't know too much if i'm going to push into the top tree or not but that's primarily what we're going to be doing ninjas they're pretty uh, they're an expensive tower they cost a lot so how are we gonna get around the cost? Ooh, banana farms, of course. Because any good army, any good gathering of soldiers, of, of ninjas maybe, needs to be fed. It needs to be paid for. It's expensive. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know that, but war is actually pretty harsh on your economy. We need an economy to keep up with that, to scale in a brilliant way. So that's why today's hero is actually gonna be Benjamin and not just regular Benjamin, but Sushi Benjamin. He's gonna be making and supplying all the food for the whole army. Not only is he a chef, he's also the accountant. So we're gonna be investing in banks and banana farms to generate the income, the revenue we need to power our ninja army. Since we haven't done much of this, first I need to establish the power point of just one ninja. How long do I think a singular soldier can take me until I have to upgrade. That's the current process. So now I have a, a, a better trained ninja. It's not just a junior ninja. He's not in training anymore. This guy is grown up. He's a bona fide ninja. He's on a five year deal. He has a career in this. He's good. He's good. He's paying off the house. He's doing good. Now, one thing I'm definitely worried about is going to be leads. I'm not quite sure what the solution is going to be yet probably monkey village because we still have primitive weaponry we're still using shurikens we aren't using bullets or anything so it's kind of hard to get through lead you know there's only so strong you can make one mortal monkey i wouldn't expect a ninja to be able to throw a shuriken through metal all right first and foremost increased production we have to feed all of our soldiers it takes a lot to feed a ninja army okay so here's the problem I don't think I can deal with these leads at all, actually. This is gonna hurt. That hurts really bad, actually. Like, really, really bad. Problem, solution, just focus on Monkey Village early. It's that simple. Let's go, come on, we gotta, we gotta make a settlement here. All right, just like 500 more, you know? We just need to get a Monkey Village down. We have nowhere to live. We haven't even established a barracks yet. That's why I don't have an army, I have a soldier. There we go, there we go. Came a little late. I feel like I'm way weaker than I need to be, especially because I'm pretty sure the leads come in two rounds. Well, that seems like a problem. 8K, ooh. That's expensive. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get rolled by leads here in a second. The lead dilemma. I'm leaking bad. So see, the thing is, I probably do have to get another ninja. Problem is, that's expensive, which is gonna mean getting ninjas is gonna be a problem here. Because how am I going to get lens? That's a problem. All right. Well, in that case, hmm, I have lead going. I can cool off on focusing on this. I instead need to get focusing on Benny boy here. We need money generation to get up. We need it to be up, up. Now we have our chef up and going though. Our money should start pumping up. Our economy should start getting better. We should be able to afford more things. He's just peacefully cooking to the right. He cooks on his own. And you know, inevitably, when the balloons push past our defenses and we leak to our deaths, he's still gonna be passively cooking there, calmly, peacefully, while he watches our demise. He watches his army crumble before him, and he still peacefully sits here and cooks, for his real passion is flavor and not war. He just wants to cook. He just wants to cook. Anyway, we have the first farm up and he's about to start generating lives for us too. So all the leaking we've done to get to this point, he's gonna start putting a stop to it. So every good 
ninja army needs a good ninja leader. What if our leader is Hashirama? And we have a druid. He's using wood style. He's putting his vines everywhere. I mean, he likes banana farms. We like banana farms. Ooh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Every good ninja army needs a good ninja leader. Just one, just one singular, just one, just one. We still only, you know, it's a ninja army, but we just have like one leader. Cause you know, there are going to be exceptional ninja that can do exceptional things. So <laughs> not every single one needs to be like the basic soldier. I'm just, you know, no, not two. Two people can't lead an army, but he might need a vice president. Maybe you never know. <laughs> He might need a second in command. <laughs> you know, no one man rules alone. It's a lot to handle. <laughs> the funny thing is when I was thinking about towers that I could maybe fit in that would still kind of fit the theme. I was like, you know, cannons are kind of primitive. <laughs> I was like, cannons, they're kind of old. <laughs> I think the Hokage bit fits way better, but I, I was ready and willing to be like, you know, cannons, we've been using them for a long time. I mean, we were using them in the days of castles. <laughs> like, <laughs> Well, yeah, if you think about it, the ninjas would have to use the cannons. And it's not like these really smart ninjas didn't develop their own weaponry. You really think they made the shuriken and they said, yeah, that's the best we can do. No. No, they kept improving. They figured out, hey, you know what? Shurikens are nice, but you know what's better? A big fucking cannon. We could use that too. You know, like eventually you just make that realization and you move on from shurikens. They could just be using the cannons is all I'm trying to say. They could. I mean, you never know if we keep failing and we fail like five times in a row. Well, you know what? Maybe the civilization learned from its failure and it figured out, you know what? We probably need to up our weapons game and they develop cannons. That's entirely possible. Don't tell me it's not. All right, so we have our Hokage down, but he's still learning. He hasn't felt war yet, so he's not that great. But he can already deal with our lead problem, so he's already brilliant. That's how exceptional he is. He's not even in his prime. He's still already doing brilliant things. Half an hour in stream and already trying to bend the rules. No, it's half hour into use, trying to use only ninjas and realizing, damn, that's hard. <laughs> It's just the lead problem. You could call it lead poisoning. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I'm on a different level. So I think now I just save for a banana farm, really. I need to feed everyone. These are powerful men. The Hokage, he can literally create wood from nothingness. That takes a lot of energy. So he needs to be fed very extremely well. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know it, but he's literally burning 17,000 calories a day. It's kind of hard to feed that. So we need some farms going. And this, this is the first farm, which means it's old Benny Boyd's favorite. It's his treasure, his life's work. This was the first farm we ever had when we were but a puny army at three members and one chef. We were puny in those days. And that one farm was all we needed. So it's Benny Boy's favorite. That's why it's right next to him. He loves it so much that he set up a hut in the farm. He lives in the farm and he cooks just outside of the farm. Of course, we increase the production. We have, we're eventually gonna have a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of monkeys to feed. Look at this. He's peacefully making his sushi next to his favorite banana tree while his army is fending off waves and waves of invaders. What a life. Damn, you know what I just realized? I set up the whole precedent for the first farm being his favorite, being, you know, his banana, like his banana farm that he has a hut in and everything under the tree. I just now realized by me doing that, I have locked myself out of making this a bank. He wouldn't allow his favorite tree, the place he puts his home. He lives in nature. He cooks outside of it. He's not going to allow that to just convert into a bank. No, he wouldn't. And you know what? He also wouldn't allow that to convert into a fucking plantation, let alone a research facility where they just pump out genetically modified b bananas. And he's not just going to put up a marketplace. He lives there. He doesn't want to live in the store, let alone Wall Street. That's way too pompous for such a peaceful chef like him. So you know what I can do now? I can just get valuable bananas and then that's it. My banana farm, my first one, it's maxed out. So the sticky bombs on there. Oh, whoo, 
I, for some reason, I, I honestly expected that Moab to just leak. I don't know why. For some reason, I felt it in my heart and soul that that Moab was just going to kill us. It, it just felt wrong. But we prevailed. We had a hero moment. He literally said, I am not letting our army die today. And he took matters into his own hands. He put a bomb on the balloon, jumped off of it, parachuted to the ground, and exploded it. He said, this is my village. No balloons are going to pop it. It was such an inspiring act, such an inspiring act that more and more ninjas are joining the village. And then the next ninja is so inspired that he becomes his disciple. He's also learning the art of bombs, just like his master. He spent enough time under his tutelage. He now knows how to use bombs. Unfortunately, our beloved banana farm, loved by all, cherished by Benny Boy. It's not quite doing enough to feed the, the village again. We aren't gonna upgrade this, of course. We can't destroy his home like that, but we are gonna expand the farms. And it's gotten to the point where our army is expanding at such a rate that we have to start going commercial with it. So we're gonna actually turn this into a bank. We are trading outside the village. We have an actual economy now. A global presence on the market. So of course we need banks. We're dealing with foreign currencies, foreign products. We owe net 30s on payments for incoming bananas. We need a bank and we need a, a quality talented accountant like Benny Boy to deal with our expenses. We we have such a, a grand army that it is, it's gotten to that point. It's on that scale now. And there we go. The first monkey bank. Benny Boy is employing and tutoring tons and tons of young, fresh talent to the accounting agency. We are going to be making so much money. And while we make that money, we're able to contract out some additional help, some additional firepower for our army. So we have our first Joni Ninja, extremely powerful, able to throw an absolute fuck ton of shurikens all the time. More powerful than the average ninja. On par with the hero bomber who saved the village once from Moabs. Our army has gone stronger. And now that we have a stronger army, we need a stronger leader. That's why our Hokage returns from a training trip. Quadrupled in power. Our Hokage comes back, ready to be the powerful leader that our, our village needs. Now having power over wood itself, able to use wood jutsus at will. Monkey Senju has ascended to the role of Hokage and now leads the village. Still can't see camos. Dumb as shit, just extremely powerful. After many more years of tutelage, the apprentice to the original Bomb Monkey becomes a master alongside his teacher. The village now has two Bomb Ninjas. Our economy is still doing good, but we do need to increase our production. We have a lot of ninjas to feed. A lot of families to feed too. We now need to produce enough food and enough income to support all of that we take a cut into the savings to upgrade to a banana plantation and now that we can sustain our people we can begin recouping our savings look at how much it's producing i can't even keep up and now we have so much size we need to invest in actual infrastructure so that our village our people actually have places to live this also helps because our village is going to actually have schools as well. We're going to be able to educate our ninjas, our soldiers. The reason this is important is because with good education, it will also grant them the ability to know the weaknesses of every balloon, enabling them to pop every single opponent they come across. We have perhaps the most skilled army on the planet. The most skilled monkeys a monkey could have. We also have literally the best chef slash accountant on the planet too. This is the real most important tower. We might have a Hokage. We might have a, a ninja army leader. We might have all our experienced ninjas. But Benjamin, our chef, is the most important. Without this food, without this money, we couldn't power any of it. Benny Boy is so good at cooking and so good at making calories from nothing. He's able to take one fish and make it enough sushi to feed 50 ninjas. Think about that. One fish per 50 ninjas. Our return rates are in insane. How does Benny do it? No one knows. He is going ham. He set up a new shop. He has... It's not just him making the sushi anymore. He has employees. We have more chefs. And they're all getting trained by Benny Boy, the best one on the planet. 
bigger village, bigger problems, stronger leader. Our Hokage has again returned from a training trip. Stronger than before. Some might say doubled in strength. Able to use two vines now. A good leader provides for their people. That's why our Hokage has come back from a two year training trip with a new ability. Leak a fuck ton of balloons. That's definitely the ability. Oh, <laughs> what timing? No. <laughs> Oh, the timing on that. Oh, no.